Hi, Tom. Hello. I wanted to illustrate today how to use a refractometer properly. It's very important to use a refractometer when monitoring cooling systems to properly adjust your freeze point. There are a couple different varieties of refractometers on the marketplace today. We have a refractometer such as this one that is designed for ethylene glycol. So to use a refractometer, we're just going to put a couple of drops of our coolant sample on the glass prism, close the lid softly, and then we're going to look through the eyepiece in the direction of light. Now the line between the light and dark is right at minus 34 degrees. Oh, that's perfect. That's exactly where a 50-50 ELC coolant should be at. Mm -hmm. Chevron provides freeze point adjustment charts to help guide corrections. There is a blue colored chart for under concentrated systems and a red colored chart for over concentrated systems. For under concentrated systems, find the freeze point reading from the refractometer on the far left scale. Then find the correct system volume and follow the column down until it intersects with the freeze point reading row. The number listed is the volume of fluid that needs to be removed and replenished with concentrated coolant. If your facility only uses pre-diluted 50-50 coolant, then double the number. For over-concentrated systems, if the refractometer reading is off the scale or shows a freeze point for the sample lower than minus 62 degrees Fahrenheit, then we need to dilute the coolant sample 50-50 with water. This will allow the refractometer reading to register on the scale. Take a new refractometer reading and match this value on the far left scale. Then find the correct system volume and follow the column down until it intersects with the freeze point reading row. The number listed is the volume of fluid that needs to be removed and replenished with good quality water, such as deionized or distilled water. Recheck the freeze point after the system has been well circulated. 